I've been using the Ninja Professional Blender, and it's been working really well. The 1000 watt power is great, especially for crushing ice quickly. It turns ice into a snow-like texture in just a few seconds, perfect for frozen drinks and smoothies. The large 72-ounce pitcher is handy when making bigger batches, and it's easy to clean since it's dishwasher safe. The blades handle tough ingredients like fruits and vegetables without any problems, and I've also used them for soups and sauces with good results. It's straightforward to use, and the recipe guide gives a few ideas to try out. One thing to keep in mind is that it can be loud, but with the power it has, that's not surprising. It's a solid blender for anyone who needs something reliable for ice crushing and blending large amounts. I've been using the Nutri Bullet Pro for a bit now, and it's been convenient. The 900 watt motor makes it much stronger than the original, and it blends tough ingredients like nuts and kale with no problem. It's easy to use too. Just put everything in, twist, and it starts blending right away. I like how well it handles hard fruits and leafy greens. It doesn't take long to make smoothies or even nut butter, and the result is always smooth. The blades do a great job breaking everything down. It comes with two big 32 ounces cups, so I can make more at once. The cups are sturdy and easy to clean, and the lids make it easy to make smoothies on the go. It's also compact, so it doesn't take up much room on my counter. Overall, the Nutri Bullet Pro has made it simple to add more healthy foods into my routine. It's straightforward and works well without any fuss. I've been using the Cuisinart food processor, and it's been helpful for my cooking. The 11 cup size is good for making bigger meals, and the motor is strong enough to handle chopping and kneading without any trouble. It comes with different blades for slicing and shredding, making them easy to switch out. One of the best things is the large feed tube, which lets me put in whole fruits and vegetables without cutting them first. The chopping blade works well for dicing and pureeing, and the slicing and shredding discs are great for quick prep. Cleaning is simple since most parts can go in the dishwasher. The instructions and recipe book are useful, but the machine is easy to figure out independently. Overall, this food processor has been a reliable tool in my kitchen. It's quick, easy to use, and makes meal prep easier for me. The Breville is useful in the kitchen. I've been using it for various tasks, like chopping veggies or kneading dough, and it handles everything smoothly. One of the things I appreciate is the wide chute. It saves time since I don't have to cut ingredients down too much before putting them in. There's also a smaller chute for thin ingredients like carrots, which keeps them from falling over. I like that there are 24 different slicing options, so I can control how thick or thin I want my slices to be. The motor is powerful and doesn't struggle, even with tougher tasks like grinding nuts into butter. The large 16-cup bowl is great when preparing bigger meals, but I also like having the smaller bowl for small tasks like chopping a bit of garlic or herbs. I also like that all the attachments come with a storage box, so I can keep everything in one place. It makes cooking easier and more organized for me. I've been using the Vitamix 5200 blender for a bit, and it's been beneficial in the kitchen. The variable speed control lets me adjust how smooth or chunky I want things to be, which is nice because I like having options. The dial is easy to use, and I can change the speed anytime during blending. The 64-ounce container is big enough for making large batches, but I've also made smaller servings, which works fine. Cleaning it is simple too. I just add warm water and soap, and it cleans itself in about a minute. One thing that surprised me is how it can make hot soup without a stove. The blades heat things from blending alone, so in a few minutes, I've got hot soup ready to go. It's quick and saves me some steps. The blades are strong, and I've used them for everything from making nut butter to grinding coffee beans. They've handled everything I've thrown at them so far. Overall, the Vitamix 5200 has been reliable and easy to use. 